Oh, these fucking scammers called me again from a different number, y'all. Look. I'm about to call your ass right back. Yeah, Richard, the Internal Revenue Service Department, how can I help you? Yeah, somebody had called my phone. Okay, when did you go to the phone, sir? Yeah, somebody called me from this number, uh, my automated system called me. Okay, sir. Well, my name is Richard William, and I am one of the investigation officer of the IRS. Well, am I speaking with Eric Gray? Yeah. Yes? Yeah, yeah, Eric. yeah, this hour, yeah. Okay, sir, well, how are you doing today, sir? I'm good, what's up? Yes, sir, I'm fine. Well, sir, the reason we have reached you is to notify that the recent criminal lawsuit and allegations against your name because our audit department found some discrepancy in your federal income tax. I hope you are aware of this matter. No, I haven't. No? You are not aware of this matter? No, I'm not aware of it. What happened? Yes, sir. Like, do you have a pen and piece of paper? Yeah. You write down some important... You write down your case number. I R. All right, wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, damn. What's the number? I R. 7436. You say I R. 7, 7 what? Seven four three six. Seven four three six. Yes, sir. All right. What what I gotta do now? And you can write down my batch number. What's that? My man? federal batch number GS seven four four eight five. All right. So what's the problem? And my and my name is Richard William. All right. Well, I went to our audit department. They have audit on your federal income tax between the years of 2010 to 2017. It has been found that you have owed to IRS $5,276 because there were lots of miscalculations and multiple errors in your income tax file and even some missing information in your taxes. Even your 1040 form was containing error and we have discovered a strong evidence to show that this is not the result of an innocent negligence rather we have the reasons to believe that it was a willful act done with intentions to defraud the irs so that is the only reason this legal issue is against your name with some serious allegations the allegations which have been pressed against you are number one Violation of federal tax regulation. Number two, violation of internal revenue code. Number three, theft by deception. And number four is willful misrepresentation of the information to the government organization. Now the IRS is going to mark a lien on your house, your car, and all non-bank accounts. Your passport will be seized along with the state identity and even your driving license will be seized in the next couple of hours as soon as the case gets registered in your local county court. Now, in order to resolve this case, you have only two options. The first option is rather you can take this matter to the courthouse and fight against the IRS. And the second option is or you want to resolve it out of the courthouse. So which option do you want to go for? Man, take me to jail. Fuck that. Take me to jail. I don't give a fuck okay. about jail. Okay, you be there. I'm sending the cops to arrest you. All right. Be there. All right. Don't go. Don't don't run away from there. I ain't gonna run. I ain't going away. When they coming? When they coming? So I could be outside. Motherfucker hung up or some shit. 